Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Mobile Application Tester. We are in chapter two talking about mobile application test types and moving into the next segment of this chapter that is 2.3 testing for various connectivity methods. When it comes to the connectivity methods, of course, the connectivity methods also need to be equally tested. Just interacting with the hardware and software of the devices, there's an additional thing which makes sense to any particular app when working on a device is the connectivity type. Depending on the connectivity type, your app can respond differently and may function or sometime may not even respond. That's where you need to make sure that at different connectivity types, your app does retain the information or at the same time continues to work if the network connectivity changes or switches to a lower bandwidth or a higher bandwidth. Of course, the higher bandwidth will not have any problems, but when it comes to the lower bandwidth, it will definitely have an impact. So mobile devices can use various methods to connect to a network, which is including cellular networks such as 2G, 3G, 4G, and 5G, as well as Wi-Fi and other wireless connections, which includes NFC or Bluetooth. Now, the following alternative should be considered when performing the test for these connectivity types, which includes device emulators or simulators can simulate various network connections and some remote devices access service providers also include them within their features. For example, emulators and simulators are, however, of limited value. So you can definitely see uh, what is that you can cover or capture using the simulators and emulators available in order to test your connectivity types. If you think there is a limitation available, you can talk about the remote device access service provider where you can generally have some cloud labs which can allow you to have the real-time device emulators which can allow you to run the test and configure what exactly you want to run. But of course, this will not be in-premise setup it will be definitely outside the premises, which are like in you know, a remote cloud setup being allocated to you on certain duration basis. You will have some additional cost involved in it, and you can definitely do that in order to be more accurate with your apps and their interaction with these connectivity types. And that's where we will be talking about making sure that at any point of time, if you require a certain setup, you need certain environment to be there in order to meet the expectations. Just make sure you do that in order to fulfill the needs of any specific user. The second one is setting up your own mobile network to support various connection types and then applying bandwidth manipulation. This is a very costly alternative where you can set up, but a lot of uh, major organizations who are a great and big stable organizations providing the uh, mobile devices or creating big apps uh, can definitely have their own setup done for uh, performing these setups. But yes, of course, uh, you may have a very huge cost involved for it, but that's another alternative solution. Coming to the third, field testing is potentially more cost-effective alternative but is limited with regards to the reproduction of the test. Because uh, generally, you know, it happens like when you have cost involved and that's not in your budget, then you generally go with uh, field testing where the uh, test engineer moves out with the device in a real time environment and travels along to see that if the connectivity really fluctuates as you travel and test the app according to it. So that would be exactly a real time situation to be tested in the real environment. But of course, uh, the reproduction of the defects would be really or reproducing the test will be difficult because you may have to again reach out to the same place and you never know if the connectivity improves in that area at a later point of time which would be again a challenge for you to do that for the continuing ahead with the testing for various connectivity methods so connectivity types are done now we are talking about connectivity methods which you need to be conducted in order to test them so in real world usage, connectivity methods also differ. Users can be continuously connected using one particular mode or they can switch between modes such as Wi-Fi to cellular. So for example, you are inside a premise, you may be inside your house and you do have a Wi-Fi at home and suddenly you were supposed to move out of your house for, uh, you know, for some urgent work and you just switch from Wi-Fi to cellular and things can change. So when user leaves home while using the app, then the network suddenly switches and I don't want my app to react to it rather adapt to these internet connectivity and immediately get connected to the internet once again and continue from where you were. 
So you should not lose the progress. You should not lose the data. You should not be asked to restart the app. You should just continue from there as soon as you have the connectivity back into the set phone and just you know continue from where you were doing it. The user can switch between various Wi-Fi or cellular networks and specific versions as well as between GSM cells. While on the move, they may even hit dead spots with no network at all. So you might have definitely experienced something for yourself that when you come to certain particular areas where you generally do not have any service at all and it says no service. Now that is where we want to test that what happens in that cases. So furthermore, the user can deliberately disconnect by, for example, switching to the flight mode. So this is something like, you know, when you want to avoid unwanted notifications or call, probably you are in a meeting and you don't want to be disturbed, or probably even you are actually flying in a flight and by default it goes to the flight mode or you turn it to the flight mode and things can definitely be different. So connectivity testing must ensure that the following test conditions are considered in order to test the connectivity methods and they include Correct app functionality with different connectivity modes, be it Wi-Fi or cellular. Anyhow, the same thing should work fine. Switching between the modes does not cause any unexpected behavior or data loss. Clear information is given to the user if functionality is restricted due to limited or no network connection or if the bandwidth is low. The message should state the limitation and their reason. So again, you know, if you're working on a quite professional applications, you would be already seeing these options that when you are not connected to internet, it immediately prompts you that, okay, you are not connected to internet or you are offline right now or get back to us connectivity in order to continue ahead. So all those kind of information message should be uh, considered as a part of the, uh, the process and the app should pop up those messages to let the user know that now you're having a bandwidth which is lower and it is taking longer time to do than usual. So switch to another network in order to complete the task. Well, that was all two topics to talk about from a small tutorial here. And I hope you got a good idea in order to understand that what more we can do when it comes to the connectivity types and connectivity methods. So should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.